Hey guys, this is Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. And in this one, I'm gonna show you some more tips and tricks for FL Studio that will make you work faster and smarter and make you a better producer overall. So there are so many features in FL Studio and so many new updates and new features coming all the time. So a lot of them go unnoticed. And I think there are some really cool features that people just don't really even know about. So I wanna show you some of them, some of the new features, but also some old features that you might not know about. So yeah, let's get started. Did you ever work on two projects at the same time and you wanted to grab some files from one project and put them in the other or just copy some mini notes from one project and put the MIDI notes in the other project. Well, there is a really simple way to work two projects at the same time, and that's project bones. If I create something in this project and I wanna copy it to another project, you can just go to file, export project bones, and that will export the project bones. And as you can see, here's the untitled project that I just created. And if we go to scores, we got the pattern one hi-hat and pattern one snare, and then you can open this in another project. So for example, if I go to my open a project that I did in the last video, I go to project bones, it's right here. And I can just take this uh, complex hi-hat pattern and put it in here if I want to. And this goes both ways. I also rendered out this project and I can just put stuff from this project to the new one really fast. So these are just the mini notes, but you can also put the sounds and everything in there. So yeah, that's a really cool one to help you work multiple projects at the same time or just take whatever you created in one project and move it to another one. Also, you can have two FL Studios open at the same time like I have right here. If you want to make sure the sound plays in both of them, go to audio settings and choose auto close. That way, whenever you close one FL Studio, the FL Studio ASIO driver will close in that one and will work in this one. Otherwise, it will only work in one FL Studio at a time. So yeah, those are some tips to help you work on multiple projects at the same time. Now let me show you some useful piano roll tips. Let's say you have a composition like this one. But you want these to turn into chords that play just one note. Not like this rhythm or this rhythm. You just want plain chords. So what you could do is hold control, drag with left click, and select all the notes, then hold shift and keep selecting. But there is a faster way to do this, and that is to select this and press Ctrl G. And there you have it. It deleted all the notes that were like connected and it just created one note at a time. And if you want to do it for a different rhythm where not all the notes touch itself, if you press Ctrl G, it wouldn't really work because it only connects the notes that touch the other notes. So you would need to first press Ctrl L and that does quick legato. You can also find it here, quick legato. And then it connects the notes and then you press Ctrl G. It combines them into one note. So yeah, and then you have full chords and not the rhythm that you had previously. Nice. Another really quick tip, you can copy the piano roll notes within the channel rack. You just select the one you wanna copy you press Ctrl C, you select the one you want to paste it in, you press Ctrl V, and that's how you copy it. You can also press Ctrl X to cut it. And this brings me to another tip, get great samples, and let's cue the self-promotion. So yeah, don't leave just yet, because I got a great offer for you. So I have this big fat Christmas bundle that is my best-selling bundle from last year, and you get like 23 different sample packs and 10 different music genres in this bundle. Overall, like 3,800 files, and you get, you know, samples, loops, presets, construction kits, FL Studio project files. You pretty much get everything in this bundle. And now I decided I wanna do Big Fat Christmas Bundle 2 for this Christmas, so I'm pretty much giving away almost this bundle for $20. And the official price of this is $493 because there's 23 sample packs and each one costs about $20. So you pretty much get 23 sample packs for the price of one for this bundle. So I just wanted to let you know about this, check out the preview and once you do, I think you will definitely wanna get this bundle. I think that's a great offer, make sure to check it out if you are interested in getting a lot of new samples for a lot of different genres. Now let's continue with more tips. So another tip is a great one. I actually wanted this feature for a while and finally they implemented it. But does it ever happen to you that you have 
a bunch of layers for a sound and you want to transpose it by one or more, just lower it by one key or something like that. And before you would have to go into each piano roll, press shift arrow down to transpose it by one, then go to another one and so on. So that would be the only way to transpose things. But now you can actually transpose multiple sounds at once. You just hold shift, select them, then go to transpose selected and you do minus two or plus two or however much you want to transpose it by this will actually move it two notes lower so if i press minus two it will put all the sounds two notes lower if i do plus two it will reverse it back and this sound is pretty annoying though <laughs> it was just an example but yeah that's how you do it unfortunately it only works within one pattern. I wish I could just select all of these and it would transpose all of the sounds in the song, but it will only transpose the ones that are in the pattern. So I still think they could implement that so I could transpose the whole song at once to try and see how it would sound in a different key. But yeah, it's still a pretty cool feature. Another cool thing I want to show you is if you have a sound, let's say I put a Nexus in here, you can actually now assign it to a new instrument track. What will happen, it will create a new track in here with the name of this plugin and it will also add it into the mixer. And if you put effects on it, for example, I put sound goodies on it here, these effects will be kind of connected to the sound. So even if you change the mixer track number, it will still have the same effects. So they are kind of locked in the sound and yeah, that will definitely help you be more organized so if you are like me where you have a messy mixer and tracks just assign everything to an instrument track and it will name everything for you and lock in the effects that you have in it which is awesome also this works for audio tracks and it works a little bit differently so if for example i drag this loop in the track on the track not here but on the track you can select how you want this to be dropped. So audio clips would be the classic, just how you always do it. But if you do audio tracks, it will also create a new new mixer track. But now every time you put another audio clip in the same track in the playlist, it will actually have the effects of this mixer track. So it kind of is like this mixer track is connected to the playlist track here. So if I put this here, it's already on track number six and has the same effects that were applied to this sound. So this would be cool if you are working with a lot of one shots in one playlist or like vocals and stuff like that. So everything you put in here will automatically be on track six. If you put it elsewhere, it won't have any track assigned to it. And then if you want to get rid of that, you just right click it, go to track mode and unassigned. That way, if you put stuff in here, it won't be on track number six. So yeah, I think this will definitely help you get more organized with your plugins and your audio tracks. And I think I'll be using this more from now on. And last tip I want to show you has to do with automations. So let's say I create an automation for a volume of this sound and I change it up. And then I want another sound to have the same automation. So it's kind of tricky to copy automations. So let's say I Put another sound here and i want this same automation to be applied to this sound so i just go to this sound right click create automation clip and i have an automation for this sound and now i double click this automation go to this setting icon copy state double click this automation paste state and now we have the same automation for this sound as well So yeah, that will definitely help you work with automations. One thing I forgot to show you is if you do put the sounds in here like so, if you create an automation, it will automatically become in the group of the sound so you can hide it or show it. Again, making your projects look more organized. So yeah guys, this is pretty much all the tips I have for you today. I will make more videos like this if you want to. There is a lot more to show in FL Studio and it's always growing. So yeah and don't forget to check out my sample pack don't miss out on this deal you get 23 sample packs for the price of one i think it's a great deal 
go check out the demo track and see just the variation of different genres that are in this sample pack. You will definitely love it. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope these tips will help you grow as a producer and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.